beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations and I'm Nova and I am so happy to see you today. I hope you are doing well and I hope you and your loved ones are taking care of the best that you can. It is the 23rd day of our 25 days of Christmas. So we only have a couple more days until that big old Christmas day. I hope everybody is having a fantastic time. I hope you guys have enjoyed the 25 days of Christmas and that you are looking forward to the holidays. Um, we also have the New Year's coming up so soon. It is about to be the end of 2023. So if you had a rough year or even if you had a great year, I hope that you are ready to start off fresh and turn over a new leaf. Um, and then have a clean slate for the 2024 year and make it into the best year yet. Um, that is what I am manifesting for 2024 is just having the best year, um, going into it with a positive outlook as possible and with goals. I like to try to set some goals for the next year. Um, I know that technically the year resetting, it technically doesn't change anything, but I feel like when you feel mentally that you're resetting, like that is a really powerful thing to in your mind feel like you are resetting and starting fresh. Um, I, I've heard people say like, well, nothing really changes. Like you wake up the next day and it's just, you know, another day, but I'm like, I, if you view it that way though, if you view it like a whole new opportunity, a whole new year to like see what you can accomplish, um, a lot of what we do in our lives has a lot to do with our outlook and um, how we choose to look at things. Um, so I feel like if you choose to view this as a new opportunity to, you know, meet goals, to be the best version of yourself, um, than it can be, you know? So I hope that you guys will be with me in that. You guys will uh, join me in making 2024 the best year possible. Um, you guys are gonna be a big part of my 2024 because I definitely uh, have big plans for the channel and plan to continue to uh, be very active with you guys. Um, this channel has been absolutely amazing. 2023 for me, for me and for this community and for this channel, it has been phenomenal. Um, as far as the year itself, you know, it was filled with some possibly, uh, tough times, some very tough times and some rough times, um, as most years are, you know, there's ups and downs, but viewing, um, viewing all of the like growth and meeting all these new people that I have met here on my channel this year and stuff, that can only be a positive thing. So I am so grateful. I'm so grateful for you guys. So grateful for the opportunity to be able to sit here and hang out with you guys. Um, and I am really looking forward to next year. Um, today is supposed to be Gnome of the Month, by the way. It is Saturday, if you're sitting here wondering about that. Uh, I am not ready for Gnome of the Month. Um, as I was telling you guys a couple days ago that I thought that I wouldn't be, uh, I literally started my Gnome two days ago and I have a lot of stuff going on right now. It's literally like the little final stretch before Christmas. Um, I am doing a collaboration this month where I got a kit from a company and I've been talking about it and stuff. Um, well, I actually started talking to this company probably close to two months ago at this point and uh, I expected the kit to be here well before December uh, started because I had talked to them and they knew that I was going to be using it for Gnome of the Month and everything. Um, and then uh, in full disclosure, I'm not exactly sure what happened, but they had given me a tracking number. Uh, a few weeks had gone by. It was coming up on December 1st, and I checked the tracking number, and it just still said tracking label created or shipping label created, but it had never shipped. 
So I had to contact them again and be like, hey, what's going on with this? And they're like, oh, like they have some issue in their shipping department or something uh, where I think I think it just got like misplaced. Uh, you know, they forgot to send it. And so they did correct that. And, and like within that week, it got sent. Um, but it got here so late in December, uh, it really threw off my plans because Noma the Month is usually something I work on as a side project throughout the month of December. I did not expect the couple days like leading up to Gnome of the Month for me to suddenly like have to try to finish this gnome. Um, also, it is being done with a two millimeter hook and like little, you know, little tight stitches and stuff, which I am not used to using. I typically use a 3.5 millimeter hook and a worsted weight yarn when I do uh, crochet, which is still, I still use a small hook for, for worsted weight. I'm not used to using like DK weight yarn though with a two millimeter hook. And you know, when you do anything that's kind of outside of the norm for you, it makes you take longer. Anyways, all of that to say, uh, Gnome of the Month is going to be postponed a bit. Uh, I am not going to say like a specific day that I think it'll be ready. Um, maybe next Saturday, um, which would be the first of next month. Um, yeah, I'm not going to like say for sure what day it's going to be ready because I'm also... Uh, with the 25 days of Christmas coming to a close soon, was planning on taking a little bit of a break um, from posting, you know, till the new year uh, and just kind of hanging out with my hubby and, you know, like taking it easy for a little bit. So um, I don't want to put too much pressure on. I've had a lot of pressure on my, putting a lot of pressure on myself lately and being very stressed out about it. So um, I'm just taking it easy. I know that for the most part, you guys are probably really chill about it. And I'm probably uh, self-imposing a lot of um, expectations on myself. And you guys are probably not as um, unflexible as I am trying to be about things uh, as far as like getting it done and timelines and whatnot. But I am working on it and it is coming. And you guys will get a thorough review on the kit as well. That's part of it also is that I do want to make sure that I do everything thoroughly so I can give a good review on the kit. Um, but it will be coming, just not today. Anyways, guys, let us go ahead and hit up our 24 cups of cheer. See what drink we have got in store for today. It is the 23rd day. You guys, our drink thingy only goes to the 24th. So the day of Christmas, I don't have one, which is fine. I have, you know, the day of Christmas, I have day of Christmas stuff going on, but that means that we're almost completely done with our advent. Eh. All right, let's see what we've got in store. Would help if I grab the right side. All right, I see, I think this is a Pete's brand one, maybe? I'm not sure, I can't really, I can't read it from here. I'm just looking at the colors. Brown and orange. Oh, ooh, not. This is actually a very intriguing Kahlua. So I am excited for that one. I am going to go ahead and do my video and then I'm going to go make it. So I will like pop in clips of me going and making it. Um, also yesterday, uh, last night we were doing Christmas cookies and took some pictures of the cookies. I'll also pop those in, um, in this video. I might've done it at the beginning of the video, but if you guys are wondering what those were, uh, we were doing, uh, icing Christmas cookies, um, yesterday. My hubby and his sister actually made all of the cookies uh, the day before. Um, and then everybody got together and iced cookies yesterday. All right, guys. So the things that I have to show you for today are, I have two things to show you. For one, I'll start with this. I wanted to show you guys how the um, candy jars look. The, uh, you know how I showed you guys like how simple, quick, easy this is to do as a gift. You can use any um, jar that you want, any container that you want. Um, it can be anything that you have laying around the house. You know, if you have um, jars that you've been saving, you could use mason jars. Um, they would they would be like really fantastic for this. I'm actually just using little plastic like craft jars. Um, let me grab one. I have another one. So this is what I'm using for mine, um, but you can use anything. And then 
you just literally need a little bit of yarn. You can change colors, you can not change colors. Um, I purposely did this one to look like a peppermint um, with the peppermint vibes. And then I picked up some peppermints when I was at the store and this was like, the peppermints were $2 uh, at Walmart. So they're just these peppermint starlight minis. Mints. I was like minis. Like, do they make bigger ones of these? Mints. That's what I get for trying to read backwards in the camera. But anyway, I think that it like seriously looks so cute once you've got the mints in there. And uh, I'm planning on making, uh, I made another topper. I just need to hot glue it uh, to the lid. Um, I'm gonna hot glue it like all around the top and then all along the outside sides. Uh, I did talk about that and show you guys and tell you guys and everything in depth uh, in a couple days ago video when I talked about this, but that's what you do. And I think it looks so cute. I think this is a really good gift, um, especially if you want to make a bunch of them because you can work up those crocheted tops really quick. Uh, I actually used a variegated Christmas yarn for the other one. So I'll show you guys that one tomorrow um, because I'm planning on getting it attached on to the jar today. Um, but then you don't even have to do any color changes if you do that. The second item I have to show you guys today is... Bum, ba, da, bum. I made this little, um, this little bunny. I actually made this a couple days ago, or I might have even made this a week ago at this point. So what happened was, you guys may recognize this speckly yarn in the body, the scarf, and the hat. Um, I was really excited about getting this. This is the, um, this is the, uh, Parfait Chunky Pom Pom yarn. And it's got all these little rainbow speckles all throughout. And I think it is so cute. Well, what happened was I was like, I'm going to make a penguin. And so the body of this and the arms of this are actually the penguin that I made a tutorial for recently, but done in blanket yarn. So that's what that looks like. And then I, I had it sitting on my desk, like just the body. And I was like, just not feeling like making it into a penguin for some reason. And then I remembered I have this head that I have been planning on making a body for, for the longest time. I was actually completely planning on doing something different. I was planning on doing like a much bigger plushie with this head, like in proportion, like it would have been a, like a large, like floppy bunny. Um, but then I kept imagining it on here with these big oversized ears looking all chibi-fied, you know, all cute and cute and squished looking. Um, and I was like, ah, so I, I was like holding them together, kind of getting an idea. And I was like, I think that would look so cute. And then I could make a little matching scarf. Like these are like mittens and then a little scarf set and then do like a little beret styled hat. So that is what I ended up doing. I actually love it. It is so cute. Uh, very like, like Christmassy, wintery bunny rabbit. Um, and I did put its head on slightly sideways and I think it gives it just like this cute little, like, you know, cockeyed kind of look. I think it's so cute. Like it's kind of tipping its head. Um, oh, and then the head, uh, if you guys have not heard me talk about this before, is made out of pipsqueak yarn. And so it is a super plushy, um, like lightly pasteled rainbow yarn. So you guys, if you think you're seeing rainbow, you are, it's not your imagination. So I thought it matched really well with the rainbow in the speckles of the pom-pom yarn. And that was what like inspired me to put it together with this. Cause I was like, oh, they both have the rainbow going on. This is super squishy by the way, super soft. Um, and I love it. I'm very happy with it. Um, as far as like the hat goes, this was literally just basically, um, basically just, uh, six single crochets increasing, uh, one single crochet increase, two single crochet increase. Um, I went and I increased until I got to the size I wanted. Um, I don't remember how many rows of increases I ended up doing. I'm trying to see if I can figure out. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I don't think I even, uh, 
I don't think I even like really stuck to that. I don't think I uh, paid that much attention. I just kind of did increases and stuff. And then I attached it just here in the center so that it kind of pulls it in and dips it down and then it makes it kind of a beret um, style. And then this is literally just double crochets. I think I did two rounds uh, or two rows of double crochets back and forth and it made this cute little scarf. Uh, and the head I freehanded like a bajillion years ago. Um, I literally freehanded this like a year, almost two years ago, I think. I can't remember exactly when I made it, but I freehanded it a long time ago. Oh, so soft. This whole thing is made of pipsqueak yarn, guys. And you can see how thick this is. This is me squishing it together. That's because I literally used an entire ball of pipsqueak yarn just on this head and ears. Um, which is why it never got a body because it used so much pipsqueak yarn, but, um, I love it. It's so squishy, so squishy, but that is today's makes. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, like I said, I'm really sorry that, uh, Gnome of the Month is not happening today, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Um, hopefully nobody's too upset about it, but it will be coming. Um, and then tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm not ready. Okay, whew. Okay, everybody, any last minute crafting we gotta do, let's do it together. Let's go, we got this. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm off to have this Kahlua coffee and I will see you guys again real soon. Bye guys.